Welcome back. About one in eight U.S. adults have taken Ozempic or similar medications used to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity. And while these drugs are exploding in popularity, they do come with some risks and aren't for everyone. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on how to know if they're right for you. It's a serious public health problem. More than two in five U.S. adults have obesity, putting them at higher risk of other chronic diseases. For many people, obesity is a brain disease. Dr. Sanjay Gupta spent the past year investigating what's called GLP-1 drugs, a class of medications that have been available for nearly 20 years and used to treat diabetes. Now they're helping hordes of people lose weight, sometimes off-label. One of the ways these medications work is by essentially slowing down your digestion. So that allows you to absorb your energy better as opposed to just shoveling calories in. But there are possible side effects, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain. These are typically felt when a person first starts taking the drug. Gupta says other rare but serious risks include stomach paralysis and pancreatitis. For people who are taking it for medically necessary reasons, it seems to, to be a situation where the benefits outweigh the, the risks. You may qualify for GLP-1 medications for weight loss if you have a body mass index of 30 or higher, or if your BMI is 27 or higher, and you have at least one weight-related health condition like high blood pressure. Gupta says most people stop using it after 12 weeks, whether it's due to cost, side effects, or something else. For a significant percentage of people, it just stops working for them as well. Whether it's a tolerance or something else, they just don't seem to, to get the benefit of it. Gupta says this medication isn't a magic bullet. To keep weight off, he says it has to be paired with exercise and a healthy diet. Dr. Gupta says many people regain somewhere between half to two thirds of their weight after going off of these medications. But he says not every patient does and most didn't gain back all the weight that was lost.